All right, everyone. It's almost time to begin your journeys in the Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet games. Are you ready? You'll get to catch Pokémon, raise them, and battle them as you embark on an adventure where the familiar charms of the Pokémon series evolve into a new experience. As a student at an academy in the Paldea region, you'll take part in an independent study program called the Treasure Hunt. And you'll search this vast world for a precious treasure of your very own. But hey, at this point, you probably knew all that already, right? Here's something we hope even you well-informed viewers will enjoy, a sneak peek at four particular trainers' journeys in Paldea. Now, let the adventures begin! This trainer is battling a Pokémon called Lechonk. Lechonk is a gourmand. It's proud of its nose, which it uses to sniff out delicious food. Oh, look! Quaxley terastalized! Terastalizing is a phenomenon unique to the Paldea region, but all Pokémon can do it. It adds extra punch to moves of the Pokémon's Terra-type. What's that over there? Is that a glowing Pokémon? It seems to be a Jigglypuff. But why is it shining so bright? Better approach it slowly and start a battle. Whoa! It terastalized! Looks like this Jigglypuff has the water type for its Terra type. Apparently, these sparkly wild Pokémon will terastalize in battle. This Jigglypuff seems pretty tough, but Quaxley's strong too. Dealing enough damage to a wild Terra Pokémon causes its terastalization to come undone. Now, throw a Pokéball! Nice! The wild Jigglypuff was caught! Some Pokémon, like this Jigglypuff, have a Terra type completely different from their regular type. Any Pokémon is capable of having any of the 18 different types as its Terra type. What's this? Quaxley's out there in the world, charging straight toward that Litleo. Looks like Quaxley battled Litleo on its own and won. That's because the trainer gave Quaxley the Let's Go command. Using Let's Go will send your lead Pokémon out onto the field to battle. If a Pokémon gets sent out toward an item, it'll go pick it up, just like Quaxley here. What a useful command for searching your surroundings. These Pokémon are so helpful, giving their all for their partner. Next, the trainer opens his map to see where he wants to go. You can set a place as your destination to keep yourself on track as you go. Then we can hop atop the legendary Pokémon Miraidon and get going. And what have we here? It's a base belonging to Team Star, the school troublemakers. Starfall Street, one of the three major stories that will make up your Paldean adventures, will unfold in bases like this one. Time to face Team Star. Our trainer rang the bell and barged into the base. That takes some guts. But things look bad. There are lots of grunts around and they keep sending out Pokemon. They just won't quit blocking the way. We'll need to use Let's Go to defeat Team Star's Pokémon. There we go! All the grunts have been defeated at last. But wait, is that some kind of tricked out car? It is. And atop it is Mela, the boss of Team Star's fire crew. She's obviously tough. It's easy to see why she's a boss. Time for these trained up Pokémon to battle. You'll have to wait for your own adventure to see how a battle like this plays out. Now, let's check in on another trainer. How's her adventure going? Aha! Uh -huh. She's using the TM machine at a Pokémon Center. 
The TM machine lets you make your own TMs, also known as technical machines, using materials Pokémon drop when you defeat or catch them. Now, where will she go next? Seems to be a desert-like area under a blazing sun. Just looking at it is enough to make you thirsty. Oh, her Rotom phone is ringing. Sounds like Arvin, her friend in the next grade up, needs some help. To give Arvin a hand, the trainer's headed to a rock face where a titan lurks. This is one of the stops on the Path of Legend, a story where you'll seek out legendary herbs called Herba Mystica. There it is! A gigantic titan Pokémon! Time to battle! Right off the bat, there's Icy Wind, the move our trainer taught Drifloon earlier. Icy Wind lowered the Titan Cloth's speed stat. Drifloon terastalized to become a Grass type. This is Terra Blast, a new move that changes type to match the user's Terra type when the user is terastalized. It ought to be handy for a Pokemon with a Terra type different from its regular types. Looks like Cloth suddenly got somewhere else to be. Wait. What's our trainer doing now, of all times? Looks like she's taking a little break from adventuring to trade Pokémon with a friend. And over here, her trade partner has received Girafferig. Seems like she immediately added Girafferig to her team, and she's gonna let it run around in the field and train up for some battles. Could Girafferig be evolving? Hang on. Did its tail become its head? Or is its head wearing its tail? What an unexpected evolution! Seems like Girafferig has evolved into Ferrigorath. In the Paldea region's Pokedex, you can see photos of Pokémon as well as information about them, so you can get to know them even better. Let's check out the town of Artisan next. It looks like one big park. Now that the trainer's Pokémon have gotten stronger, it seems she's made her way to a gym. She's following Victory Road, the story where you'll conquer all eight gyms to achieve champion rank. Nimona, the battle-loving trainer who'll show you the ropes, is all fired up. Before you can battle a gym leader, you'll first have to pass the gym test at their gym. Better get started right away. All right, that's the gym test passed. Time to battle the gym leader. Here comes Gracias, the grass-type gym leader, with a striking entry. Whoa! Pseudo Wudo terastalized and became a grass-type. Are you gonna be okay, Fido? How's our trainer gonna handle this one? She's gonna fight back by having her own Pokémon terastalize. Fido became a flying type. That should give it an edge against this grass type pseudo Wudo. No matter who or what you're up against, with some smart terastalizing, you'll have nothing to fear. I can't wait to see how battles will unfold between terastalized Pokémon. This trainer's heading into a hair salon to spice things up. Wow, look at all these options. How are you supposed to choose? Huh, I kind of want to try that hairstyle too. And now to complete the look. Plenty to choose from here too. I feel like I could spend all day on this. And while you're trying out all sorts of styles, you can whip out the camera app and go snap. Snap, snap. Looks like this trainer found the perfect style. Line up a good shot and snap. Now they've updated their profile picture. Looking back on photos you've taken of scenic vistas or memorable moments with beloved Pokemon is just one more way to enjoy your adventure. And now it's picnic time with Pokemon. 
When Pokémon have gotten dirty from a long journey, a nice scrub and shower gets them all clean. Looks like it feels nice, too. Before having lunch, Pokémon can get out some energy by playing with a ball. You can just tell how much fun they're having. Oh, wow. Could this be a Pokémon egg? Apparently, eggs can sometimes be found during picnics. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. Sandwich time! This trainer came prepared with plenty of ingredients they bought in town. It can be tough deciding which sandwich to make. This one may be a little overstuffed. It might not hold together. Just gotta put the bread on top and finish it off with a pick. Done! Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Oh! Looks like it's a hit with everyone! Eating sandwiches can give you benefits, like making certain types of Pokémon easier to catch, or making your Pokémon gain more experience points. Time for a group photo with these satisfied Pokémon! Where to go next? Oh hey! Looks like more of our trainer friends have shown up. All right, they're gonna take on a Terra Raid battle. Can these trainers work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon before time runs out? Their opponent is a Chansey that's terrestrialized into a ghost type. What kind of fight will the strong, sparkling Chansey put up? It's really powerful! These trainers better stay determined, band together, and strike back! If your Pokémon gets knocked out in a Terra raid battle, don't worry! It can recover and rejoin the fray. Hang in there, Sableye! Along with using your Pokémon's moves, you also have the option to support your allies by cheering. It's all about teamwork. Watch how the battle's going and decide how you'll handle the fight and work with your fellow trainers. Almost there! Keep it up! Oh, wow! That was a beautiful Terra Raid Battle victory! And with it comes the chance to catch this Terra Pokémon! When you join forces to win your battles, the bonds between friends and Pokémon shine even brighter! Alright! That Chansey with a rare Terra type is now part of the team! So, what'd you think? While you were getting a look at these four trainers' journeys, did you spot a glimmer of something that could become your personal treasure? Encounters with Titan Pokémon? Face-offs with Team Star? Taking on gyms? There's plenty more to be said about all these things, of course. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the adventures awaiting you in the Paldea region. Which Pokémon will you choose? Who will you meet? What sort of exciting adventures will you have? It's all up to you. Your adventures are right around the corner. May they shine bright.